What's up everyone, Matthew and Sina here. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to structure your content so you can convey your ideas in a very clear way to your audience. For those of you guys who don't know, I am the chief content officer here at The Future and I direct all the content that comes out on our channels. So the video you guys are about to watch is a short excerpt from a two hour long conversation focused on content creation that I had with our pro members. Let's take a look. As far as video content goes, what are the best outline and script practices to create a lean and informative video? There are mainly three things, and that's the overview when you start, three to five steps to break down whatever you're trying to teach, and then the last one is an outro. So let me break each of those three things down. So in the overview, you wanna do these things. You want to start with a cold open. If you're trying to educate somebody, you have to tell somebody within five to 10 seconds what this video is about. Hey, I'm Matthew and Tina. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys about project management and how to break your projects down. Simple as that, right? You just break it down, give it to them right away because the thing is, uh, the way people use YouTube is just in time education. I just need to find the answer to my question. Remember, it's the number two search engine in the world. The other thing people go to YouTube for is entertainment, but we play in the education space and delivering value. So I wanna focus on that. The next part of the overview is to show them or tell them what they're going to receive from the video. What kind of value are they going to get? So if it's a tutorial, you might show them the end result. The end result is gonna look like this. And I'm gonna show you how to go from A to Z. So you know what result you're gonna get out of that video. The other thing you could do is like, if you're trying to teach them a concept, you could say, at the end of this video, you're gonna be able to, so you're making a promise to them. So people within the first 10 to 15 seconds know who you are, what the video is about, and what they might achieve if they're going to invest the next 10 minutes with you. And then after you have that kind of cold open there, I think it's important to introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Matthew Encina. I've been a creative professional for 15 years, and I like to design, uh, write, and make content. What is your little bio that's going to be important to frame you as an expert in delivering this content for this video? You don't have to give your whole uh, resume of all the things you've done, right? Otherwise, we would be there for five minutes if I listed off every project and award I've won. Just give them the brief overview and just frame yourself in a way that's going to help reinforce why you might be the expert on that subject. Lastly, as part of the overview, you want to tell them why is this important? So sometimes you can do some kind of anecdotal story or you can give them a reason why uh, learning this information is gonna be impactful for them. Maybe you have clients that don't pay on time. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to get over that and learning how to talk to clients in this way is going to help you solve that issue. Once I know what it is I'm gonna get from this video, who you are and why I should listen to you and why this is important, those things are very important to cover in your overview when you start. Now that you have a clear concept that you're going to teach them through this video, just break it down in three to five steps. Think about it as a recipe. Recipes are, are great because they show you what the final image is gonna look like and it looks beautiful, right? It's like, oh my gosh, I wanna make that amazing, perfect steak with asparagus on the side. There's that image that looks delicious. I wanna make that thing. What are the three to five steps that I need to take to make that thing? And it's so easy to replicate. So think about the thing you're trying to teach. If it's a concept that maybe you've been um, innately doing or it's, it's kind of second nature to you, pause for a second. If you had to teach that to somebody, what are the three to five steps that somebody needs to know? Try not to go more than that because then it gets very, very complicated. Just think about the big steps somebody needs to do to get to the result. So that's the meat of your content, right? You have your overview, then you have the meat of the content, three to five steps or things that they need to know in order to accomplish the result that you promised at the beginning. Lastly, uh, you want to do the video outro. It's nice to recap whatever ideas you taught them in the video. And if it's, it, it's nice if you could do this. If you can give them something to act on, it's even better. So uh, Ben had a little series uh, a while ago where He'll teach you a concept or he'll bring up the pain point and then he'll give you a challenge. Okay, this week I want you guys to call 30 people. Just do 30 cold calls and tell me the results. Why that's awesome is because you are empowering somebody to achieve a small win. 
So now there's a reason for them to come back to you too, because not only have you given them this concept, which might be a little loose, you've given them something to act on. If you give them something very concrete to act on that they can do, and you know they're going to receive a little result or a little win, they're most likely to come back to you and say, hey, I tried that thing that you did, or you told me to do, and you know what? I got two clients from that. I got two clients on the call who wanted to speak to me. Just try and give them something to do. Don't make it completely passive where you're just another video uh, on YouTube. Try and engage them and pull them in and have them give a reason to uh, stay with you and to continue this journey with you. And then I think with the outro, it's also important to tell them <laughs> what to do, right? Like, comment, subscribe. I know it sounds kind of ridiculous, but people won't do that unless you ask them. I even do this in my blog articles. If you value this uh, piece of content, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up and share this with somebody because it really helps me out and it helps me to continue to make valuable content like this for you. It costs nothing to give a like. It costs nothing to give a share. But if you say that that's going to be very helpful for you and they got some value out of the piece of content you just gave, then they're most more likely to uh, reciprocate and do that very small favor for you. Okay, so that was the, the, the outline for how we make most of our content. Start with the overview, then give them the three to five steps on how to accomplish what it is you're trying to teach them. And then with the outro, try to do a recap, give them something to act on and make sure to give them the call to action. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Give our structure a try and let us know how it goes in the comments section below. If you guys don't know where to begin, what to talk about, I've also created a free downloadable worksheet in the description below to help you guys get started with creating content. If you got some value from this video, do me a favor, give it a like, comment, and subscribe because it really helps us out. With that said, it's time to get back to work.